Hi guys, today we are making cameraman's favorite cake. It's a cake from his childhood. It's a Russian cake and I'm really excited to finally share it with you guys. I've been testing the recipe so many times, perfecting it, and now I'm really happy how it came out. But this cake, it doesn't only look beautiful from the outside, but it also looks really beautiful from the inside. But for that, you will need to wait a little longer. We are starting with the melted butter. So I've melted the butter and I've cooled it. Then I'm gonna add the smetana to it. You could also use um, sour cream or yogurt. And you can also add the sugar in right away. Then just want to give it a good mix. Then I have my flour here from which um, I have taken 12 grams away. So you want to measure all of the flour, so the 230 grams, and then into a separate bowl um, measure 12 grams from the 230. Then I added here the baking soda, and now I'm gonna add in uh, the flour to my wet ingredients. I'm gonna start with the uh, whisk and then I'm gonna see when I need to switch to a spatula. So I want to add a little bit first, give it a mix and then continue adding the flour. This way you will ensure that you have no lumps in the batter. So now I've mixed in the flour. What I want to do now is to measure how much is uh, the total batter and divide it into two even parts. Then you want to first take uh, half of the batter and the rest of the flour that you left aside and sift that flour into the batter. And again mix in until combined. Then you want to take the other half and add in the cocoa powder. Then you want to take the batter, just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on a plate and transfer it there. It's very soft at this point, so you want to really sprinkle it with some flour, then you want to roll it out and divide it into three even parts. Well, about even, so don't worry too much if they're not quite even, just start rolling the bigger ones first, and then you'll have some left over. And I've also done the same here with the chocolate batter. Then the next thing is to roll out the dough, and you want to prepare a cake ring to 100, 100, well, 18 centimeters. So again, you will need some flour for rolling out because this is a really, really soft dough. So make sure to use enough flour so that it doesn't stick. And what you want to do first is to sort of form it into a circle. And then you want to roll out with these kind of uh, rings so that um, you get an even layer and you want to start rolling out in one side and then flip over so that it's even on all sides. So when you're using these kind of rings you notice when uh, the the cake base or the layer is rolled out evenly because when you roll like this and nothing changes that means it's ready and then I'm just gonna check that I can cut out um, the 18 centimeters so now I'm just gonna press the cake ring 
and then you just need to remove the rest from the sides and now just pierce the layer and then you just want to pop them in the oven like instructed in the recipe and continue rolling out the rest of the dough before you start preparing the cream for the cake so the filling you want to uh, crush the walnuts so you could do this in a blender or if you don't have a blender you can do it like I'm doing So then I have the smetana here with the sugar. If you don't have smetana, then you can use either sour cream, but you would need it to be uh, about 20 to 30% fat, or you can use creme fraiche. So I've added the sugar to it, and I'm also gonna add the vanilla. And then you just want to mix it well. So it's a really, really liquidy um, kind of cream that we use for this cake. But you shouldn't worry about it because the base will um, soak up the liquid and it will not be this liquid once the cake has had time to prove. So now I have one of the cake layers here and I have put a cake ring around it. Don't worry if from the first layer there will be some of the filling coming out that's not a problem and also you want to make sure to um, vary the colors of the cake layer so first is a light one then goes brown and so on and also you will need the, the walnuts for this so we are first going to add some of the cream then some of the crushed walnuts on top and repeat that with the layers And once you've added the cream, what you want to have is to have a good layer over the cake layer so that when you smoothen it out, you don't have any cake uh, peeking through. And now just adding the walnuts on top. So the cake is ready. This is what I meant. You can see here a little bit that it's... Um, so some of the filling ran away. You can see, especially that happens when you put the layers on top. Not a problem because that's just a little and the cake will set in the fridge. That's where it's going now. So it's gonna set in the fridge for about 12 hours or overnight. So we'll continue tomorrow. So now we are on the second day, the cake has had time to chill in the fridge and before we start decorating it, we need to prepare the ganache. So I have my milk chocolate here, then I'm gonna add the cream to it and next I'm gonna melt the chocolate with the cream in a microwave. You want to melt the chocolate in short intervals. so. It's been now about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm gonna give it a mix and see how it looks. So it's getting there. You can see it's getting really creamy, but there are still some chocolate lumps there, here and there. So I'm gonna give it another 10 seconds to 20 seconds until all of it has melted. So that's it. I gave it another 20 seconds and it's all melted and smooth. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave it to cool until it becomes spreadable. So at the moment it's very liquidy and you want it to um, cool and become, um, well, thicken up so that you can actually spread it on the cake. Now my ganache is good consistency and I got my cake ready here. So I'm gonna remove it from the cake ring. I just wanted to show you quickly the consistency of the ganache. So how the ganache looks. You can see it's still pretty soft. It's not um, set completely, but I prefer it like this. So because my ganache is really soft, I'm gonna start with just a little. I take a little onto the spatula and then I start applying the first coat. So what I'd prefer to do is to go from top to bottom. 
So as you can see, first I apply some at the top. And then I just slide down and apply until I get to the very bottom. And what you also want to pay attention to is to softly uh, move the spatula. So also keep it straight, don't keep it at angle because then you will be peeling everything off. So I want to just smooth it like this. So that the spatula is uh, directly applied on the cake and you don't put it at any angle. And then once you've coated the whole cake you just want to run the spatula around the cake just to smoothen the ganache. chill the cake for about five minutes and I also uh, transferred it to the serving um, plate that I will be serving it on and now I'm gonna just coat with another layer of ganache And then what you want to do is to grab a spoon and run the spoon around while you turn it, the uh, turning um, cake turntable so that you get this nice design over the top of the cake. you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you will also like this cake as much as we do. Now I'm gonna say my goodbyes and then I'm gonna cut the cake and show you how it looks on the inside. Just wait a little longer. So I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and let me know if you tried out how you liked it in the comments below. If you like this video don't forget that thumbs up for support and subscribe for some more delicious recipes. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.